got in the new Tello. Now, a lot of people think that the Tello is from DJI, but it's not. It's from a company called Rise, R-Y-Z-E, but it's sold and distributed through DJI because it uses some DJI components. Now, let's talk about it for a little moment, see what we got going here in terms of specs. It is a very lightweight machine. With the prop guards on, it's only 87 grams. So this is below the weight limit that requires you to go and register it with the FAA. So that's kind of cool. Without the prop guards, it's 80 grams. Now, one thing to be said about that is it's so lightweight and it doesn't have a ton of power. This is not a good outdoor machine. This is a great indoor machine for flying around the house when the weather's bad for practice that kind of stuff really wouldn't recommend taking this outside you get any wind and this thing's gone so I try and keep it indoors you know you can get out when there's no wind but i really recommend this as being an indoor machine now this does work over wi-fi and it does not have a controller so there's two ways that you can control it the first off is just using your phone with virtual controls and flying it that way, kind of like you can do with the Mavic Air, the Mavic Pro, or the Spark. Now you can use a MiFi controller, which is very cool. I really like the way things operate with a MiFi controller. And there's a couple of them out there on the market that actually have little phone holders on them. So I think that's really cool to be able to fly with a, a real controller and have your phone attached to it at the same time. Now, because it's Wi-Fi, it has pretty limited range. Again, the, one of the reasons why this is not gonna be a good outdoor machine is it's limited to 33 feet high and 328 feet away from you. So not a long distance flyer. Uh, don't think about having to, trying to get Wi-Fi repeaters. That stuff doesn't work very well because it adds a ton of lag. Just know that it's 33 feet up, 320 feet out, and that's gonna do it. Top speed is 17.8 miles per hour. So in theory, you actually could handle some winds up to about eight, nine miles an hour, but totally not recommended by any stretch of the imagination. Flight time, on average, you're gonna get around 13 minutes at a consistent speed of nine miles an hour with no wind. So indoors, you're probably gonna get some decent time. Here, we're at altitude, so that's probably gonna drop down to about 10 minutes of realistic flight time here. So we we'll, can't wait to get one charged up and see what it takes. Now, right now, we don't have the battery charging hubs available, so you have to charge the battery in the Tello, uh, just like the Spark uh, without a charging hub. Now, it's gonna take about an hour and a half to charge a battery for that 15, you know, 10, 15 minutes of flight. So as soon as more batteries come, you know, ship and we have those and we have the charging hubs, it's gonna make it a lot more fun to, to deal with than having to plug it in and charge it and wait for that. But it is what it is right now. It just shipped batteries and accessories and stuff will all be coming soon. Now, a couple things that really are cool about the Tello, besides just being a good indoor flyer, is there's ways of programming it. And you can use the Scratch visual coding system. You can use DroneBlocks, DroneBlocks.io. You can get that and visually create programming systems for it. And it has a full SDK, so you can actually write full-on software for it. So there's some really cool things about learning programming in conjunction with the Tello. So I think that's super, super cool. And the cost of it is only $99. So very cool, great price point. Now the only accessories we have in today are snap-on covers. We have the yellow and the blue, and you can see it comes standard in white unlike the Spark or the Mavic Air where you have to buy the machine in whatever color, the machine comes in white and you get little snap-on covers for it. Let's go ahead and open this up, see what's inside and see what all you get with it. So right here in the bottom, we've got battery and extra props and it looks like a little prop wrench in there. Take this out and we have the manual. So that's right here. And let me try and get this 
other piece out of here. There we go. And here's the Tello. Well, let me open this thing up. Look how tiny this thing is. I mean, talk about fitting in the palm of your hand. So the battery goes in the back. There's a SD card slot there. Little vision position sensors. And the camera. Now the camera is five megapixel and video is 720p. So this is not your, you know, in the same category as a Spark or a Mavic. Uh, this is just more, it's more in the toy category, but because of the features like programmability, it definitely puts it at the high end of the toy category. And even though there's no gimbal on here, it uses electronic image stabilization to help you get really good shots. So it's gonna be a fun machine. Can't wait to fly it. So this is the basic package as you see it. More accessories will be coming soon. $99 for the Tello, available right now here at multicopterwarehouse.com. So we're gonna charge this thing up and kick out another video as soon as we can to see how good this thing flies. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.